What's up, guys? So I just wanted to talk a little bit about our stars and our planets and all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm just going to scroll through some of my pictures. Um, this is Mars. NASA's Mars. And this is a picture I took of Mars. Clearly there's a difference. Um, I also have this picture. This is Venus. This is NASA's Venus. This is my Venus. So clearly there's a difference between the images that NASA is putting out versus the kind of pictures that you can get with your own camera. I took these with a P900. Another interesting thing is this hexagon that you get. That shows up a lot. Actually, all of these star pictures that I take, this is a collage I made. All of them have that hexagon in there. This is actually a picture of the moon. <laughs> Another hexagon. Another interesting thing about the moon is that during the day, it is translucent. You can see through it. So it's not, it, it's not a sun. That was a, uh, uh, it's going to rain. Um, yeah, it's not a, <laughs> um, solid structure. So they never got there. So yeah, getting back to, um, these hexagons. It's all over nature. This is uh, snowflakes. Picture I took probably last winter. So cool. So yeah, I mean, all right. You know, the moon and all that. They tried to get there. Um, but all of our atmosphere layers are frequencies. And they had to figure out how to get up into the frequency that the moon is in. And it's, it, it is in our atmosphere. Just like the sun is. And you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have the eight corners, just like the moon is the hexagon. So when these stars are shining back through our dome, our hexagonal dome, which would look like that structure we live under, you get the um, hexagon. Um, a lot of people would say it's the camera, the pixelation causing that hexagon, but it's actually the light of the star shining back through this hexagonal dome that we're under. And so, like, all these hexagonal shapes are what they use to bounce signals off of, which are our satellites. <laughs> all right, yeah, so anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean... Let's, let's look at this. Hang on. That's, um, probably Venus, I can't remember. It's a video I took of a star, but you can see that it's electrical. It's pulsating. 
It's not a ball of gas. It's in plasma. It's amazing. So yeah, I mean, stars are, we're, we're meant to understand them and their code. They are schematics for our technology and a blueprint, blueprint for free energy. Yeah. They hoax us with these constellations. They want us to look at constellations and see a bunch of Tauruses and all that kind of stuff, but really our stars are schematics. They're code for technology, free energy. They hoax us with that. These jokers. <laughs> Tell us how to see things. <laughs> they all put that sign up. Telling us how to see things. Just like the rocks, that's a fossil, never-ending story. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Mars, <laughs> right? That's Mars, that's my picture of Mars. Here's another cool Metatron's cube. <laughs> this is Vega. The sacred geometry. Yeah, it all ties together. So, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, dudes. <laughs> All right. Let's just leave it right there. Cool. <laughs>